What's up fellow coders, welcome to the third part of Python and in this video I'm going to talk about the variables, before that I'm going to show you something in Python IDLE. So actually Python IDLE is actually a calculator itself, so it can calculate data in its IDLE itself. So let's say I want to add 12 plus 13, so it gives the answers, tw answer 25. So let's say 52 times 56, 2912. Similarly, we can just give it different assigning values as well over here. This is a calculator in itself. So now we're going to talk about the variables in Python. So variables are actually something that store data. That store data. We assign something, some data to the variables. So I'm going to show you an example over here. As you can see, the type integer. So you must know what integer is. Actually, it is a set of numbers. Numbers are integers, whole numbers. So it, ca it can be negative as well. So to use integers, you just need to declare a variable that is, I, I have just written over here, my var equals 200. So assigning that name, my var, you cannot use capital letter in the front, but you can use capital letter in the middle or somewhere else. And you cannot use hyphen, but you can use the underscore over there. And in programming language, in any programming language, equals to means assigning a value, not equal to actually but assigning a value. So we have assigned the value 100 to my var. Similarly, we have float. Float is also a number, but it has points. So 100.2, 56.3. Similarly, there are other numbers including points. Those comes under float. And it's really necessary to do some divisions over here because while dividing integers, you may not always get the answers in points or something. So we, it's uses simple naming. It's uh, like previous, just whatever name you want to give except for the front capitalization and hyphen and just give it a point value that's it finally we have this string and a string is something that is a message let's say it's a message uh, it can also include numbers as well but it should be included within a quotation mark but other variables those are the numbers should not be included in quotation mark they can simply be just declared on itself but a uh, string is something that is included within a quotation mark but so the variables, those numbers, integers and float can be used for calculations, but string cannot be used for calculations. So although I've declared a string called 10, I cannot use it to calculate. But I want to show you it in practical use now. So we're going to talk about the integers over here. So let's say my var equals to 10. And 10 is an integer, and I've declared my variable that is 10. So my var consists of number 10. So we have let's calculate something like let's say my var into 2 so it's 20 so it's actually identifying its number it's an integer and it is calculating the value so let's use a float let's just give it a name float equals to 50.3 so it has accepted the value and let's operate with this let's say uh, my float divided by 5 so it gives the point in the value. Uh, it gives the answers in the points as well. So I'm going to uh, show you what you cannot do while declaring some variables. Let's say uh, var equals to 10. Let's say a car into 10. Actually, you can use capital letters. I was totally wrong about that. But you can use uh, capital letters in the front. So, But you cannot use hyphen equals to 50 C can't assign to the operator syntax error you cannot use hyphen but you can use the underscore over here that is 50 and it has accepted the value now similarly we're going to talk about the strings here <coughs> actually strings are messages i have already told you let's say messages equals to this is a string wait so this is a string so but uh, write it down somewhere or remember it forever that a string always includes quotation marks either it is single quotation mark or double quotation mark so this becomes a message so let's print message this is a string so I'm going to show you a different thing over here let's say string equals to uh, 10 and let's say string into 20 we get one zero one zero one zero twenty times so why is it not calculating 10 into 20 because 10 is in string it is a message now it's not a number over here it is a message 
so it will not operate the given command it will operate on the string not the variable so let's say uh, string equals to name sorry name and sorry okay string into 10 times as you can see it prints out name 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 10 times so even though a string includes a number it won't be useful to operate in mathematical operations but in different operations you can use but there's another method to use the numbers inside a string to operate in math as well which I'm gonna be talking on for the coming videos so if you have any issues regarding the variables and the strings you can just simply put them in the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel and